In this video, we're going to talk about the organization of data in statistics, specifically the stem and leaf, line plot, and the frequency table. So let's start with the stem and leaf. Now, the stem and leaf plot is a method for showing the frequency of occurrences of the values in a set of data. As you can see here, we have two tables. One table, one, oh, to a table with two columns. The first column is for the stem, the second one is for the leaf. So the stem contains the tens digit, the young tens digit, the leaf contains the ones digit. I will show you how to use this or how to create a stem and leaf using this example. So average baon or pocket money of 25 grade 7 students at ito daw yung mga baon nila, 38, 23, 38, 22, 24. The stem and leaf provide us a better way in representing this data. As you can see, medyo nakakalito to. So, paano ba ito gawin? Ililista ko muna sila isa-isa. I-arrange ko sila by 10. Kasi nga, system kay 10s, si leaf kay 1s. So, yung tens nila, nag-start tayo, pinakamababa natin is, I believe, ito, yung 21. Wala naman ditong nag-start sa 1. So, from 0 to 10, wala. From 11 to 20, wala. But from 21 to 30, meron tayo. So, we have 21. Tagalin na natin. Meron ba? 22. 2, ito, 23, ito lang, medyo matagal lang ito, 23, meron ba bang 23, ito pa, 23, 24, hmm. 24, meron pa dito, Hmm, tapos ko na lista ilista lahat ng nagsisimula sa 2, mga 21 to 30. At ito sila. Next is yung 31. Ini-skip ko na kasi medyo matagal yun ito. Ito naman yung 31 to 40. Na-mark ko na sila lahat. And yung 41 naman to 50. Ito, dalawang 41. 41, 41. 42, 42. 43, meron ba? 47 na. And 49. At ito na lahat siya. Now, I will show you how to translate this into this stem and leaf. Uh, kung bakit ko siya in-arrange by 10, ascending order. Uh, ganito. Ngayon, yung tens, yung tens na ito, isusulat ko na. Ito lahat nagsi-start sa 2. So, lalagay ko sa stem, 2. Ito na siya. Then, yung ones niya, ito 1. Kung nalista ko na yung 2, meron tayong 21. So, 2, 1. 2, 2, for 22, 2, 3, 23 and the 3 4 4 4 then 4 plus na natin 7 8 8 so na present ko na yung data as stem and leaf we have 21 22 23 23 24 24 24 24 24 27, 28, 28. Ito yung tens value niya. Ito yung mga ones value niya. Ganyan yung stem and leaf. Next for the 3, yung 30 natin. Stem natin is 3. So, ito 34. 34. 34. 6. Lilista ko lang lahat ng ones. And last natin is ito, yung 41 to 50. 4, 
1, 1, 2, 2, 7, 9. And as you can see, mas maayos na siya. Diba? Mas kita natin yung mga data natin. So, ito yung gamit ng stem and leaf. Stem contains the tenth value. Leaf contain, contains the one. Paano siya gawin? Start tayo by sorting the data. Ayusin muna natin. Arrange natin by tens. I-group natin lahat ng by, by tens. I-arrange natin sa by tens. Then, yung tens value niya dun sa stem. Yung ones value niya dito ilagay sa leaf. Next, we have the line plot. So, dito, skip ko na siguro yung pag-arrange ng data para di mahaba yung video natin. So, I will arrange it. Pause ko muna. I am done arranging this data set. Inarrange ko sa ascending order. So, ito yung 85. Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat na 85. As you can see here, minay ko siya. Isang 86. Dalawang 87. Apat na 88. Limang 89. Dalawang 90, dalawang 91 So what I'm gonna do here Is To of course make a line plot For this data set Paano ba gagawin? Uh, meron ako ditong line And Bawat isa sa kanila Magsiset ako ng number So ito ay yung pinakababa natin Which is 85 Next is yung 86 87 88 89 90 91 Now, in every In every Points or in every 85 points dito Tutumbasan ko siya ng isang X mark So dito sa 85, ilan tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4 So apat na X 1, 2, 3, 4 yung 86 natin, ilan ng x? Ay, ilan, ilan ng 86 natin? Isa. So, isang x. 87 natin, ilan? 87 natin is dalawa. So, dalawang x. 1, 2. Ito gawin yung line plot. Uh, 88 natin, ilan? 4. So, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. natin, 5. So, 5 x. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 natin is dalawa So, dalawang mark na X And 91 Dalawa din Dalawa And we're done That's how we do the line plot Medyo mahihirapan na kayo sa pag-arrange ng dataset Kung paano nyo isasort Well, kayo na bahala dyan But Sa pag-organize ng data Siyempre, kailangan naman talagang gawin yun. Then, as you can see, ito na na-organize natin yung data natin at mas maayos siyang tignan. Mas madali natin malalaman ilan ba yung 89, ilan ba yung 85, ilan ba yung 88 sa mga points natin. So, ayun yung gamit ng organization of data or yung line plot natin. So, line plot is making, is determining, to, to make a line plot, we need to determine the highest and the lowest values in the data. Then, construct a number line covering these values. As you can see, na-cover natin lahat ng value. Put an X above each number on the number line as many times as it appears in the data. And we done that successfully. Next, the line plot is the frequency table. Now, how to make a frequency table? Of course, we need to first na i-arrange na naman natin tong data set then mamaya ko na ipapakita yung the rest and I am done arranging this data uh, pinaka mababa natin ni 65 and we have 3 65 here as you can see continue nyo 1, 2 and 3 at pinaka mataas is 71 meron tayong darang 71 1, 2 na natin siya or na-arrange natin siya ascending order at lahat ng magkakaparehas sa lagyan natin dito yung number of participants so we have ito 65 pagyan natin 65 then yung tally mamark lang natin ilan pa yung 65 natin 1, 2, 3 
Uh, tatali natin, ganito magtali. 1, 2, 3. So, frequency niya, gano'n ba siya kadami? Ilan ba yung tali natin? Ilang guhit ba yan? Tatlo. Pwede na kayong mag-skip sa tali. Pwedeng diretso na frequency kung kaya nyo naman bilangin na. Na-arrange nyo naman ng mga isang data. No problem. But for the sake of our activity na binigay sa inyo o dito sa table na to, lagyan na natin ang tali. Next participants is yung 66. I'm sorry, I forgot to read this. Number of participants in our exhibit. 66, sila yung 66 natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. Eh di, ang frequency natin ay 4. Tuloy-tuloy lang, ganyan lang. 67. Ilan ang 67 natin? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 68. Ilan ang 68 natin? 68. Ito, dalawa. 1, 2, 2. 69. 69. Ilan? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Last two, 70. Ilan 70 natin? Apat, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have two, 71. 1, 2, 1, 2, that's how you make a frequency table. So, as you can see, pare-pares naman sila ng purpose. Ang gusto lang nila, ma-organize ang data. Mas ma-observe natin na maayos. And yung process nila, halos pare press lang, first arrange yung data. Then yung paraan na ng presentation sila nagkakaiba. In, balikan natin, stem and leaf, arrange the data. Then yung represent natin sila as stem and leaf, stem contains the tens, leaf contains the ones. Next, line plot, arrange na naman yung data. Then gawa ng number line. Yung number line dapat, yung bawat point doon makover lahat ng participants natin or yung mga number na included doon sa data set natin. At kung ilang beses siya nag-appear, ganun karami rin yung X mark na ilalagay. Then, sa frequency table, again, arrange na naman ang data. Pag na-arrange na, susulat yung participants, yung mga included data natin, itali, then ilagay yung frequency. Frequency is equal to tally. And that's all for this video. I hope you learned something about the organization of data. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.